What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and I asked many of you yesterday if you wanted a little bit, just a little bit more world news on this channel, and I guess the response was overwhelmingly positive. If you still want me to sprinkle in, like, maybe just one video a day covering something that isn't, like, Hollywood or whatever, just leave a like on this video, and uh, I'll be able to tell if that number is, like, you know, higher than usual. Now, uh, I made a video maybe last weekend covering the situation uh, going on in China that is appalling by, I think, any normal uh, standards. And we're going to talk about that. But right now, beware China seeds. That's right. Mystery Chinese seeds are filling up American mailboxes, and nobody really knows what's going on with that, where they're from, even what they are. Interestingly enough... Um, it's a little deeper than you might think. So the news started covering mystery seeds from China are landing in American mailboxes. The USDA and agricultural officials in multiple states have issued warnings about unsolicited shipments of foreign seeds and advise people not to plant them. I assure you, people will plant them. Officials are concerned by the mystery seeds, which appear to have originated in China and could be invasive plant species. Quote, USDA is aware that people across the country have received suspicious, unsolicited packages of seeds that appear to be coming from China. The USDA's Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service said on Tuesday, it is said to be working closely with federal and state partners, including Customs and Border Protection, to investigate. Please don't plant seeds from unknown origins, the agency tweeted. APHIS, or APHIS, which is the company, you know, the, I just read what that is, Animal and Plant Health Inspection Services, is working closely with the CBP and State Department's re unrequested seeds. If received, please contact the State Department, state plant health officials, keep packaging, and do not plant the seeds from unknown origins. Residents of at least 45 states have now reported receiving suspicious packages of seeds that appear to have originated in China. State agricultural officials in Virginia warned invasive species wreak havoc on the environment, displace and destroy native plants and insects, and severely damage crops. Take steps to prevent their introduction into the mo and is the most effective way of reducing both of invasive species. Uh, like the Chinese influence on our film industry, infestations and the cost to control and mitigate those infestations. Now, could this just be a glitch? Uh, you know, some auto fulfillment company uh, accidentally, you know, pushed a bunch of orders out, and you know they 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 mixed up their their uh, their um, I don't know catalog list with an order fulfillment list. I don't know. It's possible. Also understand that there is a heightened suspicion right now of everything going on with China based on, well, things they're actually doing. Their government, I should say, not their people. I don't have any ill will towards the Chinese people uh, here or in China. Uh, it's the government, which you clearly can't control, just like we really can't control them either. Um, but obviously, there are heightened issues with everything going on with Hong Kong. Um, right now, we're looking at uh, data security issues with the TikTok app and whether or not you know we should be removing uh, those type of things from our app stores. We've seen India uh, remove tons of Chinese apps from their app store uh, in response to some uh, acts of aggression. What's going on here? I think I have an idea, but let's continue with CBS's coverage. In Kentucky, the State Department of Agriculture has notified that several residents receive unsolicited packages. Uh, we don't know what they are. We cannot risk any harm whatsoever to agricultural production in the United States. We have the safest, most abundant food supply in the world, and we need to keep it that way. Now, based on pictures that I've seen, nobody really, they're all, they seem to be different. It's like just like a seed factory that's sending this stuff out. By the way, in the pinned comment down below, uh, I'm doing a big push the last two days of this month, and I'm going to ask that you consider. Um, you've, you've probably seen it. There's a join button below my channel, below most videos or on the main channel. Um, if not me, um, maybe somebody else that you consider. 
Uh, if you click join, you have several different options to join. It's just like a Twitch subscription. Um, it starts at two bucks a month and it goes directly into the content creator's pocket. Um, and it's a better deal for us as content creators than even Twitch offers. It goes a really long way to, to covering and reducing uh, anxiety over covering topics like this, which will likely not receive ads. If you can't, <laughs> totally fine. Just smash like. Have you smashed like yet? I hope you have. Anyone in Kentucky receiving packages of foreign or unfamiliar seeds should contact the state agricultural department immediately. At this point in time, we don't have enough information to know if this is a hoax, a prank, an internet scam, or an active agricultural bio, not gonna say that word. I don't think that's what it is. Unsolicited seeds could be invasive and introduce unknown diseases to local plants, harm livestock, or threaten our environment. If they wanted to do that, why, why mail them to people? Just mail them to somebody who's already here and have them plant them. I mean, heck, you could, you know, s just send somebody here to visit and have them plant a bunch of it. I, I don't think mailing it to U.S. citizens is, is how I would go about it. But, uh, you know, I don't I don't know. Um, but also said of Tuesday, it didn't have any evidence indicating that this is something other than a brushing scam. By the way, this is an old style. Uh, this has been around for, for whatever. And I think that's what this is. Um, a brush brushing is where people receive unsolicited items from a seller who then post fake customer reviews to boost sales, right? So what you do is you mail out uh, a thousand ultra cheap products, all right? Then you write reviews in those people's names. So you can get around and say, oh well, yeah, I mean, the, here's they bought an order, here's their order number, they shipped it, and here's what they said. This is an old, as old as e-commerce has been, People have been faking reviews, and I believe that is what this is too. Uh, but I could be wrong. I try to keep things on an even keel here. And what is it, Hanlon's razor? Uh, the most obvious solution is the most likely one. Or is it Occam's razor? Occam's razor. What's Hanlon's? Uh, whatever. You get what I mean. Um, in North Carolina, Department of Agricultural Services said it contacted numerous people who received seed shipments. By the way, if 50 or 100 people contacted the government about getting it, that means thousands of people probably got it. 10,000 people probably got it. Let's just put it, let's just be very clear. And like the rule of reviews is usually if you get 1% of your purchasers to uh, uh, leave a review, you're probably doing good. So if a, 100 people are on record as reaching out, that probably means thousands uh, of other people got this. According to the BBB, Foreign and third-party sellers use your address and Amazon information to generate a fake sale and a positive review to boost their product ratings. This is very, very important on an uh, e-commerce platform like Amazon. So uh, one of my clients, I run their Amazon store and they sell a product uh, that um, is only popular for three months out of the year, we'll say that. And well, I could have just said seasonal, I suppose. But the way Amazon's uh, uh, search algorithm works is it's not even necessarily the cheapest price unless somebody sorts that way. It's going to sort by a wide variety of things, but customer reviews are exceedingly important. Uh, so much so that whenever I work with an Amazon client, I tell them, hey, you got to hire this third party agency that's going to hound your buyers for reviews because you need reviews to rank well. You don't have to be the cheapest, you don't even have to be the best, but if you have the best customer reviews, you're likely to sit very high in Amazon search results. And look, if you're trying to buy seeds, how far down are you gonna go? You know what I mean? If one bag of seeds is $3 and one's $3.10, do you care? No, you're gonna click on the first one, you're gonna see it has excellent reviews and you're gonna buy those seeds. That's how this works. Um, so that's what I think it is, but I thought I'd put out a little debunking, you know. Um, Ball confirmed that the USDA was investigating and told residents not to handle or plant the seeds. Uh, if anyone gets a packet of seeds, it should store them safely in a place children and pet cannot access, then email the USDA immediately uh, with their full name and phone number. Yeah, give them all of your information. The USDA later urged anyone who receives unsolicited seed package to contact their state plant regulatory official or APHIS, um, APHIS, uh, APHIS uh, state agency Director, immediately, please hold on to the seeds and packaging, including F. So, yeah, I mean, everyone's basically saying the same thing. Um, but you can see 
the pictures are a wide variety of different types of seeds. So these things look like pumpkin seeds. They're not pumpkin seeds, but they look like it. Here's some small rando seeds. Um, you know, even if we look at the tweet from the USDA, here's a third kind of seed. So that also goes to kind of debunk the idea that, uh, oh, it's this in super invasive species that they're trying to trying to get to take, take, take root in America. Then why are they like 10 different? Okay, you could say, oh, it's 10 different invasive species. Okay, fine. That's even less likely. Um, and you can see... Uh, top reply, I accidentally planted mine today. USDA actually replies, if you already planted them, leave in the ground, leave them in the ground and report it. We are working with, I mean, like, what a waste. I mean, this is clearly a brushing scam. I mean, that's clearly what this is. Um, I ordered some seeds on a website called Wish. I too received these seeds. I contacted Wish about it. I did plant mine. I was told to pour vinegar on them. I originally bought mine, but that was strange the way the label read earrings on the package. Well, the package says earrings so they can get around customs. I mean, I get it. I get it. Sometimes, like, you just don't under, you know, if you've never ordered something and you get something from China direct, it could be jarring. I have gotten many things from there direct. And you see melon stud earring. There's a reason it says earrings and not seeds. It's because they're going to be uh, probably sorted different uh, at the border. Uh, now, of course, all of this is taking away headlines from what the real thing you guys should be talking about and sharing this video for is what is going on with the Muslim population in China. They are being systematically removed. And while pressure is heating up, citizens around the world, I believe, continue to need to continue to bring light to this. How do you, how do you fight this sort of thing? Well, through economic sanctions, I think um, by removing apps from the app store, by 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 not by uh, refusing to allow them to invest in Hollywood, um, folks, I don't really know any other way to describe this, but this is like, you know what happened before World War II? That's literally happening right now, right now to millions, right in front of all of us. And people are still buying stuff made in China. And now I'll leave you with this message. I've talked about it before. It's nearly impossible to say just, I'm not going to buy stuff made in China. I get it. Turn around, probably a lot of this stuff is made there. But just make smart decisions. You know, if you're picking up two things of paper plates, maybe pick up the one that's made locally. Uh, if, you're, if you're picking up, uh, uh, you know, some cabling, some Cat5 cabling, Cat6 cabling, maybe just figure out where, where it came from. The price difference probably isn't much. And if you do this two times out of 20 every day or every month, you'll have an impact. And if millions of people do this, you'll have a crippling effect. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.